Hey guys, it's Adrian from FootageGrade.com. Uh, real quick, I wanted to take you through this new uh, project file that we have available for download on the website. It's this uh, this cool lens flare effect, basically, where um, you know if you want to get a, a look of a lens flare that's a little cooler than uh, what's built in After Effects, but you don't really want to shell out the the money for one of those expensive plugins. Here's a you know a good alternative for you. Um, so we have just a few different um, presets that it comes with, and I'll just run them across the screen for you real quick so you can see what they look like. Basically, this um, project file is really easy to use. We have this center point control here. If you click the control layer, there's a bunch of other layers that are included in here that we have shied, so you don't have to worry about them. This is all stuff you don't need to really mess with, but you can if you want to, if you want to add some more customization to this then uh, you're welcome to do so. But we have this center point control here, which you can just move to anywhere you want on the screen. Obviously, you can parent this to something else, or you can edit it with expressions. And then some other controls we have include the, uh, the scale control here. You can, you know, if you think it's a little overwhelming, you can make everything a little bit smaller. I also have this flicker speed and the flicker amount, and if I turn that up, you can see what that is all about. Obviously, this is a pretty extreme example, but um, I just wanted to turn it up so you could see what it does. This is what the flicker looks like. It basically varies the opacity of these different elements, and then also will add a little bit of sparkle to this, uh, this main element here. Turn that back down to something less silly. We've got the tint color, which kind of explains itself. Maybe I'll make this a nice red. And um, the tint amount as well, if you want it to be completely red, you can just turn that all the way up. If you don't want it red at all, then why did you even color it red in the first place? And then this lens opacity slider, what it does is it will... Um, we have this lens texture kind of built in, and if you turn it up, it will make that more prominent. If you turn it down, it will... You can make it disappear if you don't want it. On that subject, we actually have a, a pre-comp included in here. Lens texture, put texture here is what it's called. Here's what the lens texture looks like. Uh, really, when I was making this, I was just doing the best with uh, what I had that's built in After Effects, you know? Because um, I didn't want to have any footage necessary to download to make this project file work. So all these different elements that are included here, these are all made inside After Effects with just shape layers and... Um, standard After Effects plugin, so you don't need to have any third-party stuff at all. Um, the lens texture, if you don't like the texture I have here, I might recommend just uh, going over to Google real quick, and you can just type in lens texture and just find one that you like better. You know, whatever. If you want to just download that, you can just import it and bring it into this pre-comp. You know, just replace that if you want. Now we have a, a different, more realistic lens texture. Not super necessary, just something that you can do if you like. You can actually do that with uh, with any of these elements. See if we unshy the layers here. You know, if you don't think that these these hexagons are doing it for you, you can just put a different texture in here. Maybe you could just draw a little a little happy smiley face instead. You know, obviously this is a kind of an absurd example, but it's something you can do if you want, and now our flare has little smiley faces in it. That's just great. You know, let me just, let me show you what some of these, uh, some of the features that are in some of these presets. So, I mean, this one is kind of just a standard, standard lens flare, nothing too incredibly special about it. Uh, it looks nice. When you move the, um, the center point more towards the middle, you know, the look of it kind of changes a little bit, and that's true for all of them because for this spiky ball here, it's made with dynamic effects instead of just being an image. So that's why that works the way it does. You know, this one's kind of similar in its purpose, just a different look, really. You can see we have this um, different type of texture here, this caustic, that... Um, using expressions, no matter where you, you put it, wherever you put the center point, it's always going to be facing away. So that's kind of neat. Layer 3, this one's more of an anamorphic feel. Um, you see these little 
I don't know if you can even see them on the screen recording, but these little uh, hourglass shaped things, they'll actually move in the opposite direction of your center point, but will stay in line with it horizontally. And in this one, when you bring it into the middle, it, you know, it kind of looks cool. If you have it a little bit above the middle, you get this kind of cool, these rays going downward, which is just looks really nice in my opinion, kind of angelic. This one's another anamorphic one with a different look. It's got these streaks that will, you know, the further away you get from the center, the further away they get as well, but they go in the other direction. So that's pretty cool. And then this one is just meant to look more like sunlight. And we have these rainbow, these rainbow hoops that kind of distort as they get to the edge. That's pretty much all I have to say for now, so thanks a lot. See you next time.